Hello, it is Tuesday. Today we're talking about business. What is business? How to run, operate, um, how to work in your business, start it, get it running, build it up, scale it, all about business. It's Tuesday here with Precision Home Group here in Anchorage, Alaska. Thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate that. We come to you live every weekday at 12.30 Alaska time. We talk to you about business life, marriage, real estate, investing. That's what we come to talk about. So thank you for joining. Today, we are talking about what's going on in Alaska. We had a huge earthquake last night. Earthquake. It was like a 7.0. Huge earthquake out in the Gulf of Alaska. Could have even been bigger. But we had tsunami warnings. All this crazy stuff going on. What does that mean? How can I relate that to business? How can I relate that to your life and what you're doing today? Well, whenever a natural disaster comes in, you know, whether that's a big, big old wildfire coming through California, like we just had, whether that's the big earthquake we had here, a tsunami coming in, whatever that natural disaster is, what is the only thing left standing? What is the only thing that withstands a natural disaster like that? It is things that have a great foundation. So today we're talking about, hey, what is the foundation that you have on your business? Are you building your business to withstand any type of natural disaster? What is a natural disaster with your business? That's gonna be bad economy, a downturn. You know, that's gonna be a lack of clients. So we wanna need to make sure that whatever you are doing for your business, that you have a great foundation and that you can grow and scale up so that you can withstand any type of environment, natural disaster, any type of market, whatever it is that may pose a danger to your business. So today we're gonna to talk about that. One of the biggest things is that people get comfortable, okay? Comfort is going to be the death of you. You start out, you're young, you're hungry, you wanna get after it, you wanna grow your business, you have these big lofty goals, you start making more money than you ever have before maybe, Maybe you start getting more clients, more recognition, more attention, and before you know it, you know, there you are. You get comfortable and you stop growing. You have this level of business that you hit. Maybe you're making, you know, let's just say you're making twice what you did before, and you're like, ah, oh, man, this is great. You know, life can't get better. I'm gonna get comfortable. I'm fine with this. I don't need to grow. You let your guard down. You know, once you start letting your guard down, once you start thinking in that kind of realm, that is when that foundation starts to crumble, starts to weather. You're not taking care of it, you know? So, grow or you die. That's the motto that I live by. That's the motto that I try to build my company around, making sure that we're always getting better. We're always pushing the limit. Hey, what is it that my competition, what is it that other people in the industry aren't doing? What is it that I could do to provide better service for my clients, take care of them, making sure that they have the best service possible? And what can I do for the other people in my industry, right? What can I do to share knowledge, to share things that have worked out for me? What is it that I can become a leader in my environment, in my industry? You know, those are the types of questions, the things you should be asking yourself to be able to build that foundation and then grow and scale. Because like I said before, right, if you're not growing, you're dying. And we don't want a company that's dying. We don't want a, our personal economy to be dying. We want it to be growing. We want to be full of life and expanding so that we can help support others, right? Because in those natural disasters, in those earthquakes, those buildings that are withstanding, that are still good, they're still great because they had a good foundation and a good build, those are the buildings that are gonna be supporting others after the quake of a natural disaster, right? Much like a business. Businesses are going to last be after you know bad markets, economies, and things like that, and they're gonna be the support pillars of building after those disasters. So keep that in mind. If you're not growing, you're dying. So last thing I wanna talk about is kind of that mom and pop feel, you know, that getting comfortable, you start growing your business, getting known, you know, you have a network of people, maybe referrals, and then you just rest on that. You don't go out there and want to grab, maybe start a second location if it's a store, maybe 
uh, no, another office. Maybe that's just recognition in another economy, another city, you know, getting known elsewhere. So get out there, get attention, get known, and then start producing more. Hey, I would love to talk to you guys more about this. I would love some, some feedback, comments, if this helps you at all. If you have any questions, feel free to message me, like, share, get this out there. I would love to help people. Foundation is everything. Hey, you can find me at Matthew at PrecisionHomeGroup.com is my email. Our website is PrecisionHomeGroup.com. You can see it up here, Precision Home Group, here in Anchorage. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope this helped you. Tomorrow we're going to come back to you, talk to you about life, how I operate in my life, things that have helped me. Hopefully they'll help you. Like some feedback. If you ever want to hear any videos in particular, let me know. And Friday, stay tuned for our marriage show. We're going to be talking with me and Alicia at 1230 on Friday. And then also on Thursday, we're going to be talking to you about investing basics. That's a six-part series we started. We started uh, series one with explaining all the different, the five different basics of investing. And tomorrow or Thursday, we're going to touch that off. So you guys have a great day, and I'll let you guys get going. See you tomorrow at 1230.